Hi everybody, this is Lars Vermeer from Wikipedia, and welcome to Volume 2 of our new video series, Useful Wikipedia Tools. In each video, I'll be showing you a Wikipedia tool that can potentially speed up your workflow or make your work in Nuke a lot easier. Today's video is about the tool Search Replace Panel by the founder of Wikipedia, Frank Ruta. This tool can relink your missing footage in a matter of seconds. Otherwise, it can be a tedious task to manually relink all of your source nodes. This is the link where you can find the Search Replace panel on Wikipedia. Before I start to explain how this tool works, I want to mention that Nuke also has a Search Replace function built into it by default. And you can find it in the upper menu under Edit, Node, File Name, Search and Replace. Since I have some unlinked read nodes selected, I can click on Search and Replace, paste the old file path of my source footage into the Search For field, and the new file path into the Replace With field. Now when I click on OK, it reconnects the source files of the nodes that I have just selected. The cool thing about the Search Replace panel from Wikipedia is that it has some more great features that can save you even more time. Once you have installed it, you can find it where your custom pane windows are. It has a very simple and straightforward UI. Under Source Nodes, you can tell it to search for all of your unlinked source nodes. That also includes the read geo or write nodes that you can see in the script, basically all of the nodes that have a file or proxy knob. Or you can also tell the tool to just look at the ones you have selected. Recent Searches lets you access previous search and replace actions. By default, it stores your 10 latest entries, but the tooltip for it explains how to change that. But I will get to how to use this feature in a moment. First, let me show you how simple it is to reconnect your source footage with this tool. Here we have five nodes that have lost the connection to their source files. These files are all in one folder that has been moved from its original location. To relink your nodes, just paste the old file path in the Search For field and click on Update, which gives you a report of the nodes with these file paths that have been found. Then you just have to paste the new file path into the Replace With field and click on Update again. The preview now shows you the before and after state of all the affected file paths and whether or not the substitution will find a valid file on the current frame. If everything looks good, simply click Replace to actually change the file paths in the respective nodes. And now, as you can see, the tool has reconnected all of the unlinked nodes. It also has created a new entry in the Recent Searches field. And it does that every time you use it, which can be very helpful. Now, imagine that you don't have just one, but dozens of Nuke scripts, in which you have to reconnect the source nodes that have the same old and new file path of the source nodes that you have already connected in one Nuke script. This is where using the recent searches feature of this tool comes into play to make this process easier and save some more time. To demonstrate that, let's jump over to a copy of the script. Now, since we have a new replace action stored in our recent searches, I can just click on this drop-down menu, select it, and click on replace. This is a big help and can reduce the reconnection process to only three clicks if you have the matching replace action in your recent searches history. This tool can save you quite some time, and it's just a few clicks away on Wikipedia. All right, that's it for me. Again, this is Lars Vermeer for Wikipedia. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, everybody.